guys, welcome to my channel, Miss Mary. Today I'm going to talk about something a bit different, and that is how to get into medical school. Now, it's been about seven years since I applied to medical school, but I think the same principles apply, so I'm going to share my top tips for getting into medical school, getting that offer you want, getting the interview, and finally getting into that medical school that you really want to go to. So my first tip would be to start early. I remember when I was applying the deadline was October the 15th to get your application in and I feel if you're thinking about medicine in October it's too late, in September it's too late, you need to have thought about it for a long time and really got working on it in the summer. I would recommend having the UK cap done in the summer, having your personal statement written in the summer, and then when you come back to school, you've all that sorted, because if you leave it to when you're going back to school, you, um, you'll have teachers asking about coursework, you'll have homework, you'll have a lot of other things going on, so it's best to get that sorted early. The second thing I want to talk about is personal statements. Um, some universities don't leave that much value on them, but others leave a lot of value. So get to know the universities you're applying to and apply to universities that match your strengths. If you're a person that gets good grades, maybe focus on universities that rate grades heavily in their application process. If you're someone that did very well in the UK CAT, maybe consider universities that have rated that high in their selection process. Edinburgh rates personal statements quite heavily in their selection process. And I applied to Edinburgh and I used a personal statement book, which I will link in the description box below and it was excellent, it was a lifesaver, it gave really really good tips. Um, I got an offer from Edinburgh and I feel the personal statement book really helped in securing that offer. My tip for writing a good personal statement would be to think, am I showing teamwork, am I showing leadership, am I showing empathy, the things that examiners are looking for and making sure you're showing that throughout um, your statement. And to use a lot of verbs to give the impression you're a very active person. I led, I managed, I participated, I presented. You know, to show you're not a passive person, that you're doing a lot of things, that you're very involved, very extracurricular, all around person. And also, I would say, make things obvious it's like your driving test make it obvious you're showing teamwork and make it obvious you're showing leadership skills in your personal statement for the uk cat i would recommend as i've said before practicing early in the summer people say you can't prepare for it you definitely can i went on a course for it and i also got a book and um, i will again link the book in the description below. The book was very useful in particular in shapes and um, learning about the shapes and the shape section of the UK cat. I can't remember exactly what it was called but it helped a lot in improving my score in that area. Um, that moves me on to my next point about courses. Um, some people would say courses are a waste of money and in many ways that is true. They're definitely overpriced for what you get. I went on a UK CAT course. I found it actually as courses go quite good. Um, they gave us a booklet and they went through bits and bobs of how you approach the questions. I also went on an interview course for medical interviews. I didn't find it useful. Um, they showed us good interview skills and bad interview skills. 
and the bad interview skills was someone going into the interview with their shopping and answering the phone in the middle of the interview which I didn't think was very useful because no one's going to do that in their medical interview but there's lots of people that won't pass their medical interview and it's not because they brought their shopping into the interview um, so I would say be a bit wary of courses but if you want to go on them and feel that you're missing out not going on them then maybe it will bring you more comfort sense of confidence from going on the courses it's entirely up to the person in relation to courses the next thing interview and um, I also got a book for interview it was really good and um, it really helped structure answers to questions and I would practice um, with a family member going over interview questions and framing how I would answer those so again I will link that in the description box below but I would say for interviews to get the book because you really otherwise don't know how to approach questions if you don't have that framework in mind and what type of questions come up and things like that the book's very useful for and um, that's really all my tips and um, I would also say about preparing early probably is the best tip because it can be very overwhelming if you leave it late and um, so if you have any questions about anything I've said, please leave a comment and I'll try my best to answer them. But thanks very much for listening and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.